you kind of want to tangle your life together with someone, you know, because you have someone to, well, it's like two ropes that are tangled together. It's stronger, especially during times of weakness. And mm. you have two brains instead of one. And that actually turns out to be really helpful when sure. things mm. are complicated. And and it builds a solidity into your life and a and a and a reality into your life to have someone who's along with you on this very long voyage. And so I think that deepens your life in a way that isn't really possible with fragmentary relationships as a single person. Love doesn't have to be complicated for men, especially if you know the tips and tricks to win over your lady love. A successful relationships are all about creating a space where the boundaries are clearly defined and each partner can trust the other to be completely open about their thoughts, feelings, and experiences. Relationships can help to make us better people. Often we have the energy to do things for others that we wouldn't do for ourselves. Love is powerful in that way. If your partner brings out the best in you, he or she is a keeper. Sometimes it's a matter of motivation. Other times it's just nice to have company. That question, just ask. Just ask yourself, okay, I have to be the person that women would want. Hmm. Okay, what do they want? Clean. That's not a bad start. Reasonably good physical shape. So healthy. Productive. Generous. Honest. Willing to delay gratification. So you dance with a woman. It's like, what's she doing? What are you two doing? Well, it's a pattern. You're, there's patterns happening around you. That's the music. Patterns. Patterns of being. That's the music. Now, can you align yourself with the patterns of being gracefully? That's what she's checking out. And then can you do that with her? And then can you do that in a playful and attentive manner? You know, there are some people, maybe they're introverted and disagreeable. They're, they're not cut out for a lot of social contact. But we're social animals, man, right to the core. Sure. And, and it's a sub-optimal solution for, for the vast majority of people. Mm -hmm. um, I think that people are having a harder time finding, like, let's call them more permanent relationships, is because it's become increasingly easy to have fleeting, casual, sexual relationships. I mean, mm -hmm. Tinder is a revolution, right? It's a revolution in sexual behavior, and it's certainly not obvious that it's a the risk we take in opening up to our partner about our deepest needs is that they could use this intimate knowledge against us. But rather than be naive or cynical about it, the best option is to trust. Without trust, there is no intimacy. When we choose to trust, we encourage our partner to show us their best side. This ability requires two things from us when communicating, courage and the determination not to lie. Who's going to be responsible for what in relationship to this date? All these details have to be negotiated. And then we remember, you know, that by the same logic that we've already employed, if this is two hours a week, then that's 15% of one day. That's another 5% of your life. And it's the intimate part of your life. And if you got that right, my God, you might be a much happier person. And so that's another one of the only 25 things you have to take care of to set your life up. But I mean, you said, why are people afraid to do this? Is they're they're afraid to show their vulnerability, man. They don't trust their partner. They don't know how to negotiate. They don't even know what they want themselves, you know? Like, it's not that easy for someone to admit that they need any physical attention at all, even though everyone obviously does. You know, because you're putting yourself on the line then. And that is the definition of intimacy in some sense. You want someone, I think, in a relationship that you can spar with. And it's partly because you have hard problems to solve. And if the person that you're with isn't willing to put forward their opinion, then you only have half the cognitive power that you would otherwise have. You know, and hopefully you find someone who's interestingly different from you, like not so different that you can't communicate and you have to be careful of that, but interestingly different. And then hopefully they have the ability and the will to express their opinion. And, and then, well, then it's, you know, then, then your interest stays heightened and there has to be that tension in a relationship. You know, people think, well, I, I want to get along perfectly with my partner. It's mm -hmm. like, no, you, you probably don't.
Relationships require effort, preparation, and cooperation. The first point that makes a great relationship is time. In order to get the kind of relationship you dream of, you will have to negotiate with your partner to make it happen. In the marriage vow, we promise that we will not leave each other, no matter how difficult things become. Marriage is a work in progress and the journey transforms us. Romance is play, and play does not take place easily when problems of any sort arise. Play requires peace, and peace requires negotiation. Well, when you're in love with someone, you're going to organize your schedule and make them a priority. And, you know, that's in some ways a fleeting state, although it's not necessarily as fleeting as people think it is, but whatever. It's, it's obviously a priority. And then you get married and, you know, you kind of get accustomed to having each other around and then everything else is more important and the relationship drifts to the bottom and then people get dissatisfied and they start looking for excitement and adventure otherwise. Well, mm. you can't do that. You have to prioritize the relationship. Mm. Like my observation clinically has been for a couple to maintain their relationship without it detail. That's actually why people get married, you know, j just so you know. Because this is built into marital vows. I'm not leaving ever, no matter what. It's like, okay, well, that definitely puts a boundary around our arguments, right? Because I can't say every time you manifest one of your flaws, which you're likely to do just as often as me, well, enough of this. It's like, that's horrible, man. If your whole life is, well, every time you get out of line, I'm, I'm out of here. It's like, how the hell are you? First of all, you're not going to admit to ever doing anything wrong. Second, you're going to be on your... You're like a, like a scared cat the entire relationship because, well, who knows, it could just come to an end at any moment. It's like, you know, people say, well, if, you're, if the possibility of divorce is open, it makes you free. It's like, yeah, that's what you want. You want to be free, eh? Really? Really? So you can't predict anything. That's what you're after. It's a vow. And it says, look, I know that you're trouble. Life is too difficult to negotiate alone. If you tell your partner the truth, and you strive to act so that you can tell the truth about how you act, then you have someone to rely on when the seas become high and your ship threatens to founder. This can literally be a matter of life and death. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay informed on the latest news and videos. Thank you, and we'll see you in the next one.